a screencast that's going to help you use your CAS calculator um, for graphing parabolas, quadratic functions, and then um, analyzing those graphs. So I've got a question here that says, uh, use your CAS calculator to graph y equals minus a half brackets x plus 1 all squared plus 5. And as well as that, you need to create a table of values, find the turning point, and find the x-intercepts. So what we're going to do is we're just um, going to go to the calculator, uh, open a new document. So go to Document, then to File, the new document, uh, get rid of the old one. And then I'm, we're going to do graphing first. I'll add the function for a graph. So pick number two, Graphs. And it should see a page, and down the bottom of the entry line, it should say F1 of x, which is another way of saying um, y. Okay, so we're going to enter that the function, which is minus a half brackets uh, x plus 1 squared plus 5. So let's just start doing that. So minus, now I want a fraction, so I'm going to use control and then uh, divided by, which gives me the fraction option. And I've got 1, then arrow down over 2 then arrow right, and now open brackets, x plus 1, close brackets, all squared, plus 5. So that pretty much looks like what it is. And now we just hit enter, and we should get the graph. <clears throat> now just as a comparison, I like to have just the graph of um, y equals x squared. So I'm going to use another I'm going to add another function. So to hit tab, that reveals the function line at the bottom. Now it's called F2, so this is the second function. And I'm just going to simply put uh, x squared in there and hit enter. And that's our sort of standard parabola. So you can see that <coughs> this graph is both reflected, it's, it's now turned upside down, and it looks a bit fatter. Okay, And the negative sign, the negative one, is what's caused the cause it to be um, reflected, and the half uh, makes it fatter. So any number greater than 1, or the value greater than 1, be it negative or positive, uh, makes graphs skinnier or narrower, and any fractional values at the front make the graphs fatter. All right, let's, go. let's keep going. So we've done the first thing. We've done the graph. I want to create a table of values. So to do that, I'll need a new page. So I'm going to go Control doc and I want to add a list in spreadsheet number four and then now that I'm in the spreadsheet function and that's given me a new page 1.2 I'm going to hit menu and go to number five table and then number one switch to table and I can pick one of the two functions that I graph so I'll pick f1 and there it is there's my table of functions x equals 0 1 2 3 y equals these values and I can scroll up and down to get negative values of x, or further to get more positive values of x. And just for the just for the practice, let's um, insert another page and graph that, and get a table of values for the graph of y equals x squared. So again, control doc for a new page. We'll add another list in spreadsheet. Uh, so there's our 1.3 page. And now menu, 5 table, 1 switch to table, and I want to pick F2 this time. And this is my graph of y equals x squared, or function 2 of x equals x squared, and again, table of values. So we've done that. We've done number 2. We want to find the turning point of our original graph. So I'm going back to that graph 1.1 page. And now I want to um, analyze the graph. So I'll again go to Menu. And this is specific for graphs now, so the menu's actually changed from what we saw on the um, spreadsheet page. And I want to analyze, so that's number six. And I want to find the turning point. And now my graph um, has a maximum. Okay, so it reaches a maximum point and then and then um, decreases again. It's like an upside down U. So the turning point is the maximum of this graph. And I get a question down the bottom, which graph are you talking about? There are two on the page, is either graph F2, if I mouse over that, or F1, and it's the F1 I'm interested in. So I click on that. And then it asks me, what's the lower bound? So I just, <coughs> here's my turning point up here. So I pick up, I start, um, I click just to the left of it, the lower bound. 
and then the message down the bottom of the screen says upper bound. So I just move to the right and you can see the maximum there, the values are changing, but as I get to the highest point they don't change anymore. So I can click again and there we are, it's given me the maximum value, or in other words the turning point. I can grab and move that, minus one, five. <coughs> so that's number three. Now number four, find the x-intercepts. Now intercepts, again, are under um, on the menu, analyze graph, number six. But we want to find points where um, the graph y equals zero, which is the definition of the intercept. So I say zero, it's asking me down the bottom which graph. Okay, I'll say f1. And saying what's the lower bound? So I'm interested in this intercept here. So I'm going to click just to the left of it and keep moving to the upper bound. And it's giving me the value. I'll just move that to one side so it's not going away. <coughs> so x minus 4.16, y equals 0. And let's say on the other intercept, menu, analyze graph, 0. Which graph? Blue one. Lower bound, just to the left of that point, just to the right. And I'll move that away. And there are our x-intercepts. Okay, all done. Have a try of some for yourself.